Some of us can get embarrassed when it comes to medical issues we experience. However, it is important to ask those questions and to be honest with our physicians so that we can receive the proper care. Well, Dr. Farina Willis is with Brookwood Baptist and she joins us now to talk about the questions that women should be asking and the one we'll focus on this morning, uterine fibroids. Dr. Willis, good morning. Good morning, Mrs. Rogers. Good to see you. So first tell us about uterine fibroids. They are non-cancerous, is that correct? Correct. Uterine fibroids are benign tumors that can grow in your uterus. And so they happen at what time or can happen at what time in a woman's life? Typically, most fibroids are caught between the ages of 30 and 40 in most women, mm -hmm. but in African-American women, they can be seen earlier in the 20s and even in the teens. So what is going on when those fibroid tumors um, start to develop? Well, first you have to understand what the fibroid tumors are. There are benign tumors that grow from the muscle of the uterus. And most of the time it's thought that they are hormonally mediated, meaning estrogen causes them to grow. Mm -hmm. So some of the things that we eat and possibly even our genetics can cause women to develop those fibroids. And over time, those fibroids can become symptomatic as they continue to grow and cause problems with women having heavy bleeding during their menstrual cycles or even having pain. So if those are a couple of the complaints that a woman may go to her doctor with, would that be something you immediately look for or talk about how it's discovered? A lot of times it can be discovered on a physical exam of the woman. And then sometimes we send women down to get an ultrasound to look for those fibroids. And so we're, we're trying to focus on questions that, that women should be asking. And it is kind of hard. You're, you're worried and maybe intimidated. So what do you want to tell anybody watching right now that may have questions about those type of things, how they approach that subject and how important it is? I really think it's about being open and transparent. First, you really want to sit down and look at your cycle. You know, a lot of women think that changing a pad every hour is normal. That's not normal. Or wearing two pads at one time is normal or a tampon and a pad is normal. If you're having to wear more than one protective agent, at a time, then you may want to see a physician to see what's going on and why your cycles are so heavy. Because certainly there could be something else and it doesn't mean it's something horrible, but there could be something else besides something like a, a fibroid tumor going on, right? Correct. Correct. I mean, there's other things like endometriosis that can cause heavy bleeding and pain. It, I mean, it could be a bleeding disorder that you don't know that you have. So it's, it's very, um, I guess I would say all women should really be able to talk to their physicians. Have you had and not patients, be embarrassed about the symptoms. Have you had patients who you discovered there was something wrong and they had been hesitant? to talk about it? Have you experienced that with your patients? A lot, a lot of times, you know, I'll, I'll see some young girls come in and I notice that their lower abdomen is extended. Mm. And I'm like, um, are you pregnant? And they're like, no. And then I do my exam and I find out that they have fibroids, oh, but they hadn't said anything about it. Okay, so just, um, it's we all have to look out for ourselves and ask the right questions is, is kind of the point of what we're talking about, right? Correct. Patients need to be an advocate for themselves. All right. Correct. And if you need to encourage somebody else, a loved one, do that as well, I guess you would advise. Definitely. Definitely. All right, Dr. Farina Willis with Brookwood Baptist. Good talking to you this morning. You too, Janice. Okay, now here's Jay.